pearl brown on my work boots. Should make them real pretty. I'm gonna do something a little different in this one. I'm gonna talk about safety footwear. I don't know how many of y'all actually wear safety footwear, steel toe. My job often requires it. Um, and I have to have steel toes. And I figure probably some of y'all in this, the doing hobbies and stuff like that wear these as well. So I don't know if you have the same problem, but I don't think it holds in my toe. These boots are basically brand new, not even a year old. I uh, really like them. <laughs> they, they're waterproof, they were waterproof. But they, what happens is for me, in my industry, the toes wear down pretty quick before the boots long wore out. Then they're no longer waterproof. So I figured I'm gonna try something new. Um, this is kind of an experiment, I've never done it before, but I'm gonna take some JB Weld, mix them together, maybe add some color, and put a coat on the toe to help give them a little bit more durability and make them waterproof again, which I'm gonna need them this coming week for my work. So let's see what happens. My boots were pretty dirty, so I went ahead and started with a rag and water, no soap or anything, and I just took it and wiped down my boots really well to get rid of all the dust and grime uh, to make sure the epoxy is going to adhere correctly. I had some errands to run, so I went ahead and set them outside in the sun and let them just naturally dry off. I'll link everything in the description, but basically all I used was some gloves, some JB Weld, a mixing stirrer and I have this pigment it works good for epoxy pores I wanted to add some color to it you know why not have a little fun with it using some masking tape I went ahead and taped off my boot everywhere I didn't want epoxy all right time to get them gloves on get my epoxy ready I did one ounce of each part there's an a and b part when you buy this little JB weld set and I did one ounce of each, and it was way more than enough, y'all. So you could probably do half ounce of each and be plenty fine. But anyways, after the first part, I went ahead and added my brown pigment. It doesn't take very much, <laughs> probably used too much. And then I added my part A on top of that. The directions for this epoxy said mix thoroughly for one minute. I usually mix a little longer. I like to thoroughly mix my epoxy. It's gonna be like, Pearl, pearl brown on my work boots. Should make them real pretty. <laughs> Anyways, I don't care what it looks like. I thought about doing like a turquoise color or something too, make it look really stand out-ish. But I guess I'm just gonna pour this on there and uh, try to get it as thick as, really concentrate over the holes and hopefully we'll see how it works. Y'all, I really had no clue what I was doing here. So um, I was experimenting and my thought was to just get it as thick as possible on there. And I kind of kept, um, it would drip off and then I would kind of pull it back up and drizzle it back on top of it. And the whole idea is this is quick setting. So it sets in like five minutes and it was already starting to get kind of hard. So then I, I knew that I would have to get the tape off while it was still hard. Otherwise you're gonna take a razor knife or something to your boot, never a good idea. But it ended up working out pretty good and I was able to keep it up there. There were some drips that got on the bottom of my boot. No big deal, I wiped them off. Those will wear off anyways. And my pearl tipped boots, <laughs> they're awesome. Let's see what we got. Hard as a rock, so are the drips. Yeah, well, I know it definitely covered up the hole that was on the boot, so they should be waterproof again. I think they actually make a product that's designed for this. Um, it's kind of like a rhino lining. I don't know whether you spray it on or you mix it. I haven't really looked into it. I had this JB Weld laying around in the shop and I figured I would utilize it. Um, it's probably cheaper than whatever they sell for this too, because you know the specialized stuff 
runs a fortune. But anyways, if y'all are interested, I can do a follow-up video after I've used these for a few months. I've got a lot of traveling and work to do, so I will be putting this to the test and see how it actually holds up. Um, but anyways, I thought it was something that y'all might find interesting. You know, not everything I do in the garage is woodworking. This is EPS garage, not EPS woodworking. So I will do different things that include whatever I want to do in the garage. So who knows? Stay tuned. I'll see y'all next time.